Mr. Chairman, uh, I will give a summary of the newest amendment submitted by the administration on 2671. Section 1 creates an exception to the current unlawful carrying of a firearm offense for any person who would qualify for an enhanced handgun carry permit to carry a handgun either concealed or openly. Very generally, a, if a person is eligible for a permit if they have no felony conviction, order of protection in effect, misdemeanor domestic violence conviction, stalking conviction, and are 21 years or older or 18 years if certain military service requirements are met. Section two through seven allows a person who gets this exception to also transport and store a firearm, not just a handgun, in their car pursuant to section 39171313. This just generally overrides a posting prohibition for parking lot, either by private entities or state or local government agencies. This includes school parking lots for permit holders but it would not extend to the constitutional carriers under this bill who don't have permits because of a federal law. Section 12 through 15 increases the penalty for theft of a firearm to at least a class E felony with a mandatory minimum of 180 days. It adds an enhancement factor that justifies an increased sentence within the otherwise appropriate range for theft of a firearm from a car. Section 16 requires service of 85% of a sentence, 70% with sentence reduction credits for the unlawful possession of a firearm by a person convicted of a felony crime of violence, attempt, or felony involving the use of a de deadly weapon. Unlawful possession of a firearm by a person convicted of felony drug offense and un unlawful possession of a handgun by a felon and unlawfully providing a handgun to a juvenile or permitting a juvenile to possess a handgun. Mr. Chairman and committee members, that's a brief explanation of the bill. We all, uh, it's no secret, there's been a lot of um, attention around this bill. We all know this is what is known as a constitutional carry or permanentless carry bill. This uh, bill is very similar to what's passed in 17 states. And even outside of those 17 states, Mr. Chairman, there are 31 states that recognize the citizen's right to carry a gun openly without being permitted by the state. Uh, Mr. Chairman and, and committee members and members of the audience, this is a, a, um, an issue, a bill in one form or another that this legislature has um, discussed, debated. The Senate, some of those of you would remember in 2014, we actually passed a permanentless carry bill on the Senate floor. If I remember correctly, the vote was 25 to 3. It had bipartisan support. And um, this bill is, is taking us to a place that I personally have supported for many years, and I greatly appreciate the leadership of the governor on this issue. So, Mr. Chairman, that's a brief explanation of the amendment. That makes the bill. That yeah, is an explanation of amendment. Questions on Amendment 1? 